Good afternoon, everyone. Jack and I travelled to Kent today in the beautiful south of England, and we just arrived at our medieval cottage in the woods. And I thought I would give you a quick tour because it's so quirky and lovely. Now, this is it. It's called Hall Cottage, and it belongs to the Landmark Trust, so you can stay here as well. And as you can see, Jörg just lit the fire. We always do that once we arrive, no matter the season. <laughs> and yeah, let me give you a tour. It's quite tiny, but we think it's absolutely perfect for two or three people. So. This here is the kitchen and we will prepare dinner any minute now. This is actually a very decent size, so I hope you can see it. Very nice. And it's just so quiet and lovely. And no, I will wait until I go upstairs. And around the corner, is the sitting room. Hi, Jörg. <laughs> is it already toasty in here? No. <laughs> no. What do you think? I love it. So quirky, isn't yes. it? So this is the sitting room and also has well, the dining room basically. So I think it's great. I just said it's great for two or three people. Yeah. So here's the fire. Let me turn around. Yeah. Has a decent size as well, don't yeah. you think, Jörg? Yeah. Think about it's only one quarter of the original house. Exactly. So we will show you what it looked like back in the day. Yeah. And... Upstairs is our bedroom, which I was quite surprised because the ceiling is so high and it has a wonderful light, I think. So let me go to our bedroom first. So this is it and let me try to film the ceiling for you because it's so, so high. So as you can see, this is actually quite big. I hope you can see it, but yeah, I think it will work. And what is so nice, it's currently bluebell season and you can see the bluebells from here. Oh, it's so wonderful. I don't know if you can see it, but um, we will go there later, probably, or tomorrow, and then film it for you. But it's so stunning. It's so peaceful and quiet. It looks like a very cosy bed, and I can't wait to see what it feels like to wake up here in the morning, in the middle of the woods. So, that's the master bedroom if you will and there is a tiny bedroom next door with bunk beds so it's great for one or two children of course I hope I can film this because it's quite tiny and this is the tiny bedroom with bunk beds and what I really like is the small chest of drawers, how adorable. And I will also show you the bathroom and then that's it. And this is the bathroom. And because everything is so small, it's a bit hard to film, but I think you get an idea. So it has a let me close the door first. So it has a bathtub. 
which is perfectly fine. Lift the window and a small mirror and that's it. Jörg and I stayed at some landmark trust properties and the first time I remember so well we stepped into Culloden Tower and noticed the gorgeous china and they have the same china in all of their properties and I always thought it's a spood but it's actually not so I thought I would share so in case you're interested this is called Mason's Old Chelsea absolutely beautiful you know what let's make some tea I really fancy a cup of Jörg just started preparing dinner and this is what we're having. This is Scottish trout, then asparagus. Yeah, and I'm preparing a sauce hollandaise. Sounds perfect. It is. I can't wait. Now let's see. So, and this is Surrey Gold, an English wine. Yeah. Have you tried that one before? Yeah. No. No. But I've tried it now and it's good. It's good? Yes. Great. Dinner for two looks very good. The fish is really good, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yep. So fresh. Fresh from Scotland. And we want to show you what this place actually looked like, or probably looked like, back in the day, because it's quite interesting. Now, this is what you see today, mm -hmm. and this is how it was. So probably, well, it says here, it probably looked something like this. Yes. Quite big. Because all of this was demolished in 1830. And as you can see, so we're here, that used to be just a parlour. Yep. Yeah. Then a hall, buttery, see servants' quarters. I don't know what that means. Solar, that's just upstairs. So quite big, but at least they still have this and it's so quirky. Yeah, and that dates back to 1500. Yes, yeah. Really interesting. So this is quite an old house. It is. And I was just joking, saying to Jörg, maybe Henry VIII came here to meet Anne Boleyn at secrecy, because Hever Castle, Anne Boleyn's childhood home, is just about a five-minute drive from here, so it's basically around the corner. some tea in the garden.
milady. Thank you so much. So we're sitting here, enjoying this view. It's perfect. Yep. I'll have a nap now. <laughs> Honestly? Yep. You need to have your tea first. No nap. Now that we enjoyed our tea, we thought we would pay the bluebells a visit. It's just around the corner from the cottage. Filming this, this reminds me a little bit of Germany. The shed could be in the Alps. Oh my goodness, we just saw another spot and there are bluebells everywhere. Let's see. Is it worth it? Oh. It is, so <laughs> let's see. That's just stunning. And we just kept on walking and stumbled upon this. And honestly, this is magical. Absolutely stunning. I can't get over this. Oh, this makes me so happy. The combination with the cottage we're staying in is like, you know, you know, it reminds me, Jörg, it honestly reminds me of Brothers Grimm. Mm -hmm. It's so incredibly beautiful but I don't know if it comes across on camera. So I just hope you get an idea because the beauty of it all is insane. We have to leave. Yes, we spent three amazing nights here and I can't believe how dark it is at night. Yes, and quiet. It's really lovely. It's like real fairy tale cottage vibes and well, we did a lot of sightseeing here and in case you want to see that as well, check out the next videos too. So we'll see you again very soon. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Um, until next time. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.